Welcome, fellow developers and enthusiasts, to an exciting exploration of Lightning Web Components, LWC. In today's session, we embark on a journey through advanced concepts, best practices, and real-world applications of LWC, from optimizing performance to implementing drag-and-drop functionality, we'll delve into the intricacies of LWC development, equipping you with the knowledge and skills to build dynamic and responsive web applications. So, buckle up and get ready to elevate your LWC expertise to new heights. Before we take our first question, subscribe to LongSwitch Academy to learn and grow with us. Let's jump in. Data binding forms the backbone of interactive web applications. Today, we explore how data binding works in Lightning Web Components and the advantages of both one-way and two-way binding. Join us as we unravel the magic of connecting data to our components. Question number one. How can you implement data binding in Lightning Web Components, and what are the benefits of using one-way and two-way data binding? The best answer for this question would be, data binding in LWC allows you to establish a connection between the component's JavaScript properties and the HTML template, ensuring that changes in one are reflected in the other. One-way binding updates the user interface when the data changes, while two-way binding also updates the data when the user interface changes, if the interviewer asks about a practical use case then you can use the following example, consider a form submission component, one-way data binding ensures that user inputs are immediately reflected in the user interface, while two-way binding allows the component to capture and update the form data based on user interactions. Organizing your code base effectively is key to maintaining a scalable and maintainable project. Today, we explore best practices for structuring and organizing Lightning Web Components in your project, with a focus on how a modular approach can streamline development workflows. Question number 2. What are the best practices for structuring and organizing Lightning Web Components in a project, and how can a modular approach enhance development efficiency? The best answer for this question would be, best practices for organizing LWC projects include grouping components by functionality, separating concerns into smaller modules, and following naming conventions for consistency. Adopting a modular approach allows developers to focus on individual components, promoting code reusability and easier collaboration. This can be useful in an e-commerce application, organizing lightning web components into modules for product catalog, shopping cart, and checkout process enhances development efficiency by allowing developers to work on specific features independently reducing merge conflicts and facilitating code reviews. Single-page applications offer a seamless and fluid user experience by dynamically updating content without page reloads. Today, we explore how to implement client-side routing in Lightning Web Components to create single-page applications and discuss the benefits of this approach for modern web applications. Question number 3. How can you implement client-side routing in Lightning Web Components to create single-page applications? And what are the advantages of single-page applications for user experience? The best way to answer this question would be, client-side routing in LWC involves using a router library, such as Lightning Router or React Router, to manage navigation within the application without server round trips. Single-page applications provide faster navigation, smoother transitions, and better performance by loading only the necessary resources. Let's see a practical use case for the advantage of single-page applications in Lightning Web Components. In a project management tool, implementing client-side routing allows users to navigate between different views, such as project dashboard, task lists, and calendar, without experiencing page reloads, providing a seamless and uninterrupted workflow. Breaking the boundaries of Salesforce, the Lightning Web Components open-source framework empowers developers to build applications beyond the Salesforce ecosystem. Today, we explore the capabilities of LWC open-source framework and how it fosters innovation in web development. Let's move on to question number 4. What is the role of the Lightning Web Components open-source framework, and how does it enable developers to build applications outside of the Salesforce ecosystem? You can answer it as follows. The Lightning Web Components open source framework allows developers to build web applications using the same Lightning programming model and components outside of Salesforce. It provides a lightweight, modern framework for building fast and efficient applications with a focus on reusability and performance. If I have to highlight one practical use case then we can consider a startup environment, 
Leveraging LWC open source framework allows developers to rapidly prototype and build web applications with familiar tools and components, reducing time to market and enabling seamless integration with existing systems or third-party services. Securing your application is paramount in today's digital landscape. In this session, we dive into the world of authentication and authorization in Lightning Web Components, exploring common mechanisms used to safeguard your data and resources. Question number 5. How can you implement authentication and authorization in Lightning Web Components? And what are the common authentication mechanisms used in web applications? The possible answer for this question can go like this. Implementing authentication involves verifying the identity of users, while authorization determines what actions users are allowed to perform based on their roles or permissions. Common authentication mechanisms include username, password, OAuth, and SAML, each offering varying levels of security and flexibility. To understand the significance of authorization and authentication let's consider the example of a healthcare application. In a healthcare application, implementing OAuth authentication allows users to securely log in using their existing credentials from trusted identity providers, ensuring compliance with industry regulations and protecting sensitive patient data from unauthorized access. Before we move forward in this video, I wanted to pause and ask, do you have any questions, suggestions or doubts? If yes, then please feel free to use the comment section to dump your questions, suggestions or comments. We will try to respond to them at the earliest. Thank you for your patience with us and watching the video till this point. Without wasting a second, let's jump on the remaining questions. Reusability is the cornerstone of efficient development. Today, we explore the power of Lightning Web Components services in encapsulating reusable logic and functionality, empowering developers to build modular and maintainable applications. Question number 6. What are LWC services? And how can you leverage them to encapsulate reusable logic and functionality across Lightning Web Components? You can explain it like this. LWC services are modules that encapsulate reusable logic and functionality, such as data fetching, error handling, or utility functions, that can be shared across multiple components. By centralizing common functionality into services, developers can reduce duplication, promote consistency, and simplify maintenance. To understand the practical use case of this let's take the example of customer relationship management application. In a customer relationship management CRM, application, implementing a data service as an LWC service allows multiple components to fetch and manipulate customer data consistently, ensuring data integrity and reducing the risk of errors. Drag and drop functionality adds a layer of interactivity and intuitiveness to web applications. Join us as we explore how to implement this feature in Lightning Web Components and the key considerations for delivering a seamless user experience. Question number 7. How can you implement drag and drop functionality in Lightning Web Components to enhance user interactions? And what are the considerations for implementing this feature? You can explain it like this. Implementing drag and drop functionality in LWC involves handling drag and drop events managing the drag state, and updating the UI based on user interactions. Considerations include accessibility, touch support, and compatibility with different browser and devices. You can consider the following as the practical use case for the above. In a project management tool, allowing users to drag and drop tasks between different columns on a Kanban board provides a visual representation of task status and workflow, streamlining project management and collaboration. State management lies at the core of every web application. In this session, we explore best practices for handling state in Lightning Web Components and discuss how to choose the right state management approach based on the complexity and requirements of your application. Question number 8. What are the best practices for handling state management in Lightning Web Components, and how can you choose the appropriate state management approach for your application? The best explanation for this question would be, Best practices for state management in LWC include keeping state as local as possible, using the at-the-rate track decorator for reactive properties, and leveraging parent-child component communication for sharing state. Choosing the appropriate state management approach depends on factors like component hierarchy, data dependencies, and scalability requirements. The best practical use case for understanding the importance of state management in LWC is a real-time collaboration tool. 
In a real-time collaboration tool using a centralized state management solution like Redux allows multiple components to share and synchronize application state, providing a consistent user experience across different views and interactions. Mobile optimization is essential for delivering a seamless user experience on smartphones and tablets. Today, we explore strategies for optimizing performance in Lightning Web Components for mobile devices and discuss best practices for designing mobile-friendly user interfaces. Question number 9. How can you optimize performance in Lightning Web Components for mobile devices? And what are the considerations for designing mobile-friendly user interfaces? The best answer to this question would include the following. Optimizing performance for mobile devices involves minimizing network requests, reducing rendering and processing times, and optimizing images and media assets for smaller screens. Considerations for designing mobile-friendly user interfaces include responsive design, touch-friendly controls, and prioritizing content for smaller viewports. If I have to mention a practical use case for this then I would consider a field service application. In a field service application, optimizing performance for mobile devices ensures that technicians can access critical information, such as work orders and customer details, quickly and efficiently, even in low bandwidth or offline environments. In today's session, we delve into the heart of Lightning Web Components with a focus on the at the rate track decorator. Join us as we uncover how this powerful decorator enables reactivity in our component data, paving the way for dynamic and responsive user experiences. Question number 10. What is the role of the at the rate track decorator in Lightning Web Components? And how does it enable reactivity in component data? You can explain it like this. The at the rate track decorator in LWC marks properties as reactive meaning any changes to those properties trigger the re-rendering of the component. This ensures that the user interface updates reflect the latest data changes, providing a seamless and interactive user experience. To highlight a practical use case for this we can consider a real-time messaging application. In a real-time messaging application, using at the rate track to mark the message history as reactive ensures that any new messages are immediately reflected in the user interface allowing users to see the latest conversation without manually refreshing the page. And there you have it, fellow developers. Congratulations on completing our deep dive into Lightning Web Components. We've covered a vast array of topics, from state management to mobile optimization, each contributing to your mastery of LWC development. As you continue your journey, remember to apply these insights in your projects, experiment with new techniques, and never stop learning. Together, we're shaping the future of web development with Lightning Web Components, one component at a time. If you found this session valuable, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more engaging content on Lightning Web Components and beyond. Until next time, happy coding, and may your Lightning Web Components shine bright.